Wait, this is a horror game? This is a horror campaign? This is a horror campaign. I, I know you guys you, you can't really tell from this, but... <laughs> we got yep. a little carried away, so okay? Uh, you can, you can see the object of uh, trauma, like, right here. <laughs> they almost got wiped out by a broom, and that was truly an entertaining scene to watch. So... I got knocked unconscious by an animated broom. <laughs> Not to mention that two of us actually almost hit... Well, we hit ourselves with the shelves instead of the broom. So People did, almost we died. They the almost shelf. got team KO'd mm. to a broom. They're pretty, we're pretty I'm silly. just saying, that broom, terrifying. <laughs> People will there say skill issue, I say you have no idea what we're facing, so don't <laughs> judge us. Anyways, they are... Do you guys want to explore the last room? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, before we move on to the yep. basement. Yep. Just gotta crack yep. open this one, and are we going to, like, just keep all this, uh, all the doodly on the map as well? Oh, my uh, children! For now, my yeah. My children! Uh, maybe yeah. we get rid of the stuff that's in the room itself. Yeah, that sounds yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> How do we do that? Wait, that's not all meant to be visible. Okay, DM, take it away. So this is... As you guys enter... Dust and cobwebs shroud an elegantly appointed bedroom and an adjoining nursery can be seen oh. through the windows of the door in this section if... This is the my setup has needs work. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh... Like through these double doors of stained glass, you can also see a balcony, which is down over here. Uh, as you can, as you look around the room, you notice that the. This bedroom belonged to the family's nursemaid, who looks an awful a lot like the. Who seems to be dressed in similar clothing to the corpse you found upstairs. Oh no! Not the one that I accidentally poked. <laughs> we totally did not lose. Uh, the room must have belonged to the spectre we slew upstairs. Um, can I see? Um, oh, can I you do not regret mauling them. <laughs> 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 um, I just, anyway. I just KO there. I don't know what happened. So. <laughs> yeah, the bedroom contains a large bed, two end tables, an empty wardrobe. And mounted up on the wall next to the wardrobe is a full-length mirror with an ornate wooden frame carved to look like ivy and berries. I don't trust it. It's gonna, mirrors. it's gonna like kill us. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an animated wall. glass pane. Watch out! Yeah. <laughs> oh. it's, gonna, no. it's gonna reflect your own true appearance to you and make you terrified. No! It's gonna cripple oh your self-esteem. Oh um, yo, you know, cripple self-esteem. I'm in. Give me a second. Let me, let me share. Let me. It's try a check on her. <laughs> oh my god, I'm hideous! And then she's going away. My belt looks That's too tight. That's very true, Freya. You are very hideous. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Freya not... just be like, <laughs> hold up, hold up. She hold looks up. at the Maxi with disbelief, like, oh my god. I'm well, so I thought we were saying things that were untrue. Ha 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 ha. Are you sure it's untrue? Because I doubt, and I have trust issue on you now. Mwah. It's okay, I love you though. <laughs> um, can I roll um, a perception for the room, please? I was about to ask that. <laughs> also, you can... I'm trying to find where this thing is. Oh. If you guys are exploring... As, as Jeremy enters the room, he notices a crib that's covered by hanging black shroud. Oh, be careful, you might have a dead baby there. <clears throat> oh. Do you pull off the shelf? Uh, I'm going to leave it alone for now. <laughs> uh, you, you, you do your description that you were doing as I was walking into the room. You do your description that you were doing before. I'll wait for that to be over. That's, that's the description. The nose screen. Alright, I'm opening right. the shroud. I will not you trust that. You don't open up the shroud? <laughs> I open up the shroud. 
Maybe all green. Inside, you find a tightly wrapped baby sized bundle lying in the crib. It seems it can be completely wrapped up. And you can't see your face. You can't make out any features within that. that. You're not touching it? That is a that is a suspiciously infant sized bundle inside a crib inside a haunted house. I am not touching that. <laughs> um Freya will be leaving her 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 body first. I'm sorry, Kitty. I know it's time for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Kitty demands a are having a conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna fit the my Lyra, Kitty. It's okay. Just think of Freya as sleeping <laughs> in the floor. Okay. Just don't don't make any spiders crawl on her body. Okay. <laughs> Promise me. There you go. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I reckon Aubrey and I hold. should definitely um. Should definitely ask like the children if they know anything about this little bundle of not so joyous joy. Yeah. But as you, anyway. the two of you walk into the room, you guys feel a great sense of disgust towards the crib. Ugh. Hang on, that I'm just gonna I go back to that bathroom where I found the coins. I'm just gonna. <laughs> It's like, it's, it's like a great sense of disgust in the way that you find something to be disgusting, not the nauseous kinds of disgusted. Oh, okay. It's like so kind of more of a hatred. It's like a hatred, and you do absolutely dis you feel a sense of yeah hatred. You absolutely despise whatever's in that crib. I don't think you should step any closer, Alfred. And not planning on touching that. <laughs> she wolf, can Both I get you to roll a can you roll a int? Just a D twenty. Oh. Intelligence. A D20? Yeah, just a D twenty. Yeah. Is it a save or is it just a check? Um that's oh. twenty now twenty. <laughs> you feel it's a dead twenty. You feel Rose attempting to take over your body and you feel this intense desire to run over to the crib and just tear whatever's inside of uh whatever is inside into shreds with nothing left of it but well, you are able to differentiate your own emotions from the feelings of rose and you are able to keep control of your body I you're right miss Elira. we need to get out of here before i do something really bad be my guest <laughs> just slams the Elira slams the door as she leaves the nursery. As you come out, you can hear, you feel the, you feel Rose's presence within your mind grow very small, and a sense of remorse. I feel bad. For she feels. For what? You're not sure exactly why she feels bad, but you you know that it's not to do with her actions. To it's not to do with her feelings towards whatever was in the crib, but it's more towards she feels bad for you. Oh. Oh damn Rose, we're gonna be like this? <laughs> Alright, well um Lyra kind of storms to the other side of the room, kind of feeling self-pity even though she has no idea why but as you walk you over you Step on Freya's notice head. Funny. the mirror and rose points out that perhaps you might want to give the mirror a closer look okay i'm rolling perception yeah. i see Uh, 15, let me get my thing back up, 15 and... That's on top dice. Uh, 18. Upon being, upon being prompted by Rose, you look over closer and you realize that there are eyeballs amongst the berries surrounding the mirror. And they don't seem to be solid, but they seem to be pressable buttons. Well, they seem to be like cut out from the surroundings and interactable. Oh, Elira runs her um, paws 
uh, long presses them in. Watch this trigger like the boss fight, and <laughs> yeah, you're all dead. <laughs> and then we all die. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, guy. Oh, welcome. Yeah, you're all dead. Um, welcome. Wait, what? I think there is a suspiciously baby-shaped thing in this crib. Um, and I've just found a secret passage. So, yeah. oh. Is it a dead baby? Because it might be a ghost. Just don't touch it yet. I'm not touching don't it. Don't do like um, um, don't do what I did. Okay, just saying. Rose specifically made a, said I'm not touching it. <laughs> Rose yeah. made Alira feel really bad in there, and like hatred towards the child or the, the child like lump. Or whatever um, thing was in there. Yeah, whatever um, thing was in there, um, and and Alira had enough enough sense to walk away. Uh, but it bad, bad juju. <laughs> bad juju. Oh, can we do a perception check for the baby or the bundle? You um, certainly can. I am leaving. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and roll. But uh, let me finish what Elira, upon pressing the button, the realizes, notices the wall behind the mirror opens up and reveals a corridor. With a staircase that leads upwards. Well, this house is. You found something interesting? Uh, well, you could say that. <laughs> Tabaxi girl has found a new passage here. It might Maybe be a lot. Oh, rat? I think it actually says I think going crazy. Right <laughs> deceased. My name is Deceased. <laughs> Oh yeah, the sea giant. Oh wait, no. You know, I just realized we made a mistake in previous session. This is how you're meant to get to your attic, but you guys have already been up there. So turns out I didn't actually make a mistake. I just forgot to reveal it on the map. You're actually meant to be able to access the staircase from both the outside room and also the maid room. And back to the recording. But yeah, right, you so... want to uh, use you want to roll perception check for whatever was in the yeah, game. Yeah, because because you know how Alara said that she felt the bad juju, so yeah. um, um, Freya just decided to step in a little Open bit closer and try to do the box. perception check. Or should I do the investigation? Which one? Is uh, it? just investigation. Sounds right. This is investig. I you're trying to. Are you actually poking the baby? No, I'm not gonna poke anything there with my finger anymore. Are you just looking really anymore. closely at the baby? Like I'm just gonna stare from you gonna a sniff very the baby safe distance. Like you did of everything else. <laughs> did I sniff on the berries? No, I didn't. How dare you? You sniffed the air. No, <laughs> but you did. You sniffed the oh. air to smell a monster. I don't. Fine, I'm gonna sniff the air. I'm gonna sniff the air. I'm not gonna poke it though. Open up the loot box. Alright, just sniffing the air roll. Roll perception, d20. Okay. Please. Oh my god. I do not understand. She's just one of these. You... <laughs> I as have, you sniff um, the air, you don't smell anything strange. Everything in this room seems very normal aside from it being a little bit dusty. And you can smell... The faint. You can feel, smell something faint within the air. You can't quite put a finger on what this, what you're smelling, but you can definitely smell something different than when you were outside. Okay. Did Augury made any kind of perception check or I was, investigation? I was just about to say. Oh well, well investigation check. Ogre, despite oh, the Thorn's, <laughs> despite Thorn's warning, walks up and uncloths whatever object is in the crib. Unclose? Oh, you unclose baby. it? You yeah. pick it up and open up. Okay. Uh, I leave it in there. I'm not holding it in my hands. Oh, you just you just unwrap it. Just gonna to unwrap yeah. it for a little bit. <laughs> as you unwrap it, bit by bit, as the moment you begin to see. You be, at the moment you begin to peel off the layers, you see a immense blackness. But the oh, moment no. you peel it you any further to try to get a better look, 
the entire thing collapses into just nothing but a bundle of former baby wraps. Let's see. Mm. Bad juju, bad juju. <laughs> oh no. It appears that if there was nothing there at all. Trails, there's at both the the bundle and all green. And she doesn't want to poke anything in there. Can I do another roll perception just to take another whiff and see if there's any change in the smelling? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, is it perception? Yeah. So eighteen, I guess. Wait, give me a second. Let me check. Mm, yeah, eighteen. Upon smelling this room once again, you notice that very faint smell that you would you noticed before is now gone. But in its place is something that smells rather dangerous. Freya mumbles, this is bad. I don't think this is a good sign at all. It smells very dangerous. I think we better leave as soon as possible. Can I roll a quick perception check on the actual room? Because I don't think anyone did one. The the room you're in right now? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a lot about it. It can. Roly poly. Oh, Oh, that was almost in that 20. Oh. I know. No matter how much you look around the room, it just seems to be a standard nursery and... Did you guys find anything interesting at the crib? It do have weird smell, and if it we it was weird before, now it smells dangerous. And well, that's all I can say. And I don't well, like. Well, I don't it want either. a repeat of the broom fiasco, so let's get a move on. Yes. Pray I'm not. You just don't want to be whacked on your ass again. <laughs> Absolutely, I, like I will not deny I, that. I would <laughs> rather be spanked when I give consent instead of having to fight for my life. Thank you. Um, my head still hurts with the shelf. I know, same. I, I think I'm getting a concussion. I think we head back upstairs so that we can um, head downstairs. The yeah. That room oh. was the greatest foe we have faced so far. <laughs> I've met yet. <laughs> um, okay, back to the alley. We go as soon as it looks for me. Say goodbye and to the audience. Now we have our own token. Bye bye. Bye bye, child. No. Child. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I forgot how the other. Oh. Oh. We're already here. Okay, I don't need. Yeah. I don't need this token then. So. And it's this is where we're too... so small. There we go. I, oh, no, I am not, small. I am small. Now Wait, why am I small? Over to the yeah. attic. Because that was a lost Base. room. Yeah. But basement. We, I mean, yes. We've already opened up the entrance to the basement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now so we're heading I... down. So this is that the is only room that yeah. we haven't... I'll, on the route to before I switch over, yeah. okay. as you walk down this narrow staircase made of creaky wood that, con- that is contained within a five-foot wide shaft of mortared stone, it starts in the attic and descends. You're not quite sure how far down it goes, but as you descend deeper and deeper, the first couple feet of stairs seems fairly normal, a little bit creaky, the stones a bit well for wear. But as you get lower and lower down, you start to see blood splatters against the wall as if something was struggling, trying to pull itself back up. They start out very sparse. A little bit of blood, just a little streak of blood here. Maybe could be mistaken for someone accidentally scratching their hand against the wall like it's maybe a little sharp bit licking it but as you go further and further down it comes very difficult to argue that any of this was a mistake you begin to see remnants of smaller body parts bones fingers of not bones hands fingers toes even a leg there's some drawers laying around deeper you go. 
and as you get closer to what you assume is the end, you begin to hear shrieks. Very the thunder, I hate this place. Very human screams. Screams that are screaming for help. And they seem they don't seem to be illusions but rather actual noises coming from physical mouths. But the moment you hit the very ball of the staircase, everything goes silent. This place is horrible. I'm just gonna yeah, say that I'm gonna to fi- I'm gonna summon my wildfire spirit just in case so we can see better here as well, guys. So oh, okay. Good Good idea. extra fire is always needed here, right? It's a monster it's a monster fight, it's a boss fight. Of course we're gonna need fire. It's oh, wait, dog. That's that's elemental. Uh yeah, for my wildfire spirit. Yeah, it's around the size of a dog. Oh uh, um uh, we have huge. shoe here. Um, <laughs> wait. Excuse but, me. <laughs> no, I mean I, I don't want to. I don't want to offend her by summoning a dog there and telling them what to do. Cause she wolf is a canine, you know. So she's, like, she's a unless she's a cat. Unless, she's a cat. Well, her character is a cat. You know. Do you want it to be a wolf, she wolf? I'm giving you the no, option. It's up. It's up to you. If you want to name it She Wolf, and then just no, I'm not gonna name it. Me every she- time you're just like She Wolf attack, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I go, I, do I go bite. Uh, rah, rah, I rah. go bite. <laughs> uh, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> That's up to you. No. I, that's completely up to you. I think I think summoning a wolf, um, spirit, a well, fire spirit sounds amazing here. You know what? <laughs> let's summon it. You know what? I'm gonna name it She Wolf, and it's gonna be a a wolf cop. Cute, right? <laughs> See? Mwah. Yay! I love you. I'm in the game. <laughs> Why? <was> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Breaking okay. the fourth wall. <laughs> Once you reach the end of the spiral staircase, while the screams stop, you begin to hear an, a ghostly chant. It's very eerie and incessant. And constantly echoing throughout. Can I yes, use can actually or investigation to hear where that sounds coming from, please? Uh, give me perception. Can we all do it, or just uh, if yeah, whoever just wants you. to go for it. Yeah, let one at a time. Though. Can we all um, do that? Yeah, ten. No, okay. Perception. I got thirteen. 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 Uh, can let I... me see by. Uh, yeah. I got a twenty-two. 20? Yep. That's crazy. Okay, let me do it. <clears throat> okay, 17. Uh, oh. Wait, has anyone, has anyone mm. not rolled yet? I... Chica. Chica. Chica, do you want to roll? Oh, why not? Oh. Not oh, 20. Okay. Wow. That's nice. Oh my god. Deception. Despite how, what's the word? Despite how keen your senses are, you can't tell where the noises are coming from. Nor can you really discern what words are saying. It's just in constant mumbling, the same thing over. You can. It's like a. You can hear a pattern of words being said. But you're not sure what words you don't even know if it's a, a language you can speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. into it. <laughs> and it just seems hearing the noise sends a chill down your spine. And uh, Chica, please roll a in- intelligence save. Oh. What? Oh, what is this? The fact that intelligence saves are so common is terrifying. Oh, hold on, hold they're on. really hard. No, I've got no multipliers. Oh, okay. oh god, she got. <laughs> while going down the staircase, you grab you were grabbing a hold of 
uh, I- Ilara, uh, what was she was your character's name? I forget. Elira. Elira's <laughs> hand, and oh, you were like... able to. And there was you felt fine as you went down, but the moment the two of you had a moment of separation, you felt you just feel this intense fear run over you and you feel you can't help but run towards the stairs with all the intentions to run all the way back up back into the bedroom and to hide the pillow does anyone want to roll to stop her Oh, no. yeah, I'm, um, I'm yeah. quite far away from her. Am I still able to roll for that? I uh, will say that you notice that she's absolutely frightened and she starts dashing and she's about. Yeah, you know, one. Alright. Uh, is that okay. strength? Like an athletics check to stop her, or what is it? Athletics check to catch her, and then. I'll right. decide um, how to do based that on the roll. Not dex, it'd be I mean, athletics and then. Athletics, Stri- so d20. I've got a plus five, so I'll I'll do it. Yeah, you have to do minus minus one. I think we'll all just Ten. give it a go. Try. Ten. Uh, ah. I'll, I'll roll. Ten. Uh, oh, is it going to be contested with her check, or is it like a set DC? It will be. Oh. I'll I'll make it a set DC. Okay. So, is Jeremy the only one trying? I, I was going to try as okay, well. Okay, yeah, I've rolled as well. Try. Oh, oh, okay, that's a 22. Do you want to yeah. narrate oh, how wow. you catch her? Um, well, considering Freya is in... Me. Is disappeared. Considering, sorry. Considering Freya is in the way, um, Elira kind of puts a hand out across, across her chest to her shoulder and gently kind of pushes her behind as she darts through the corridor and then skids to a, <laughs> to a uh, stop in front of uh, Augury and puts her hands out like, Hey, hey, you you okay? Augury, listen to me, it's alright. Uh, right. She got another intelligence save. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Did I get through? <laughs> oh. oh. You, you oh, okay. break oh. out of the fear that's suddenly taking control of you. And you shove it into the very corner of your mind. Are we good? Ogre nods hesitantly. Right. You think you can continue on? Yeah. Okay. It's at this moment that Chica realizes that Ogre know knows that all the fear is coming from the little ghost boy and is if this continues to happen oh i'm sorry about my cat no it's fine <laughs> it's fine that's, that's a child, crying that's, crying a child like, screaming. that's the incessant gone. crying no i was like i would i did not expect that that's the incessant <laughs> crying we don't know what they're saying but they're constantly <laughs> screaming i promise you there are no cats being heard here he's just He's just in heat. It's, it's just a needy cat. Send waifu, please. Send waifu, please. <laughs> anyone, anyone go a uh, she cat? Is that no? We have a she <laughs> wolf here. No. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how I feel about that. I, I would. I would like to ask my cat first about what about whether he's into this. <laughs> so you know, you ask the Can't... cat for consent. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, hey, my kid can answer, so it's fine. Would you like me to find you a partner? Do you want to arrange marriage? <laughs> and, you know, he's been trying to get over his um, one requited love, so we'll see how it goes. It's it's such a sad story, but let's let's get along. <laughs> let's move on with the story. Yeah, Chica, do you want to talk to Thorn? I would love to talk to Thorn. He's currently hiding away within your little mindscape. Yippee. And you can he's you can feel nothing but Yippee. terror coming <laughs> off of him. That's great. He's terrified of this entire place. And he's also Let me give you uh, a, a, a little bit scared sound. of you. <clears throat> At the back. Wait, what's the last bit? He's terrified of everything. 
that's around you, the atmosphere, the noise, the sights, but you can also feel that he is scared of you. Can I make a, um, I guess this would be a perception, oh, I think a, a perception In, check it, to, or, um, specifically to kind of realize the similarities between how I acted earlier when insight. Rose got really Romy bad. insight. Okay, cool. But, um... Uh, um, my insight is... I Good can enough. See it you completely. make the epiphany. Uh, 15. Yeah, you make the... You have an epiphany. Okay, cool. So, um, Elira holds out her hand and says, If you want... We can go together. Augur nods he hesitantly, grabbing Alara's paw in her hand. The moment <laughs> you <so> guys... <laughs> the, hold, paw. the moment your hands touch, you both feel... a sense of familiarity and safety. Within each other's I presence. I can imagine them holding hands and paws together, and I just, I'm just here trying to not squeal from the kid. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm holding myself back. Okay, that's Freya, okay. and that's myself. It's cute. Get All right. So, should we choose a way to go? Yeah, pick a direction. Um. But, oh. Okay, team. Where do we want to go? <laughs> oh. Uh, let's, go down, let's go down first, yeah? You guys oh, okay. want to go oh, down. Uh, it's Fred, it's Fred. Um, before that, can we, like, can I ask for my, um, what is this? My, my, my spirit animal to kind of do, like, perception check, like, to detect whether there's a sense of danger, like, the most danger out of all the, tr uh, the yeah, pathways? Go ahead. Roll a perception, uh, and then I'm gonna look for it real quick, and then I'll get back. The beast step. Um, the beast step. Oh, the you mean like? Are you, like, are, are you rolling uh, the perception? Perceiving with the spirit, or you? Or are you having your spirit scout out the area first? I want to probably like try to see how my spirit reacts. To the pathway like which one he they are more um aggressive towards because like usually wolves they are more aggressive towards the danger right your, like, your thing isn't actually a wolf just to, just to remind you say it's an actually a wolf though it is a oh. elemental that's taking a shape of a wolf oh. uh, an elemental is like a elemental robot it's it doesn't really have they don't it. have it yeah you can have oh, like, no. to make the perception they can still make a perception check if you want them to. I'm just not sure if they have higher stats than you do. Yeah, that depends on my role, isn't it? <laughs> well, you will always have plus five in comparison to it having yes. zero. So, let's pray for the roll, shall we? <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. Oh, okay, 17. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright. Which path seems the most dangerous? Let's, uh, yeah, I need to do a quick check. I was rearranging my setup just so I have an easier time checking. The uh, maze, don't know where anything is. Maybe... Going down, mm -hmm. the wolf sense that going downwards is... but scarier than the top side. Okay, so as the cop growling a little bit at the um around the back at the back of um the butler's back right there, Freya just looks around at the team and said, depending on whether we want to immediately fight it, I think we all knew where the path behind our butler leads us to. So where do you uh, where do you wanna go guys? I will you, say that both, both Augury and Elira, Elira I, can, I gotta remember this name. Elira? Elira? <laughs> Elira. Elira, okay, that was correct. Both feel a draw towards the bottom side. 
Oh. Oh. Uh, I kind of disagree. I think going that way is better. We... I'm not sure if... There are multiple battles out here. I'm not sure if delaying the worst one to the end is the wisest choice. He has a point. <laughs> I like that. Uh, is just so giving up. What mm. is your... On the other hand... <laughs> Actually, let's this on the other hand... Um, on the other <clears> hand... <throat> it could be... It could be important to have a, an alternate path of escape should the stairs not work out. So, that mm. would be an argument to avoid the biggest fight immediately. Well, that's true. We don't necessarily want to go in blind. What if Rosenthorn's parents are Danny's? I think we owe it to them to at least die in them. I, I agree. Personally, I would suggest that we kind of try to scout the area first and try to figure out if there's any um, escape plan in case the main path we came in is kind of de denied or act or blocked. I'm just saying because knowing this house there are big chances that they might have secret passages leading to anywhere and everywhere. It might give us some time um, and help in case we need it, you know? But I'm up to angry wine. <clears throat> I think we explore then. Right. So you guys are heading down? We'll head up. Uh, what, was down the most dangerous? Right, down, according was, to check? down was the most dangerous according to check, but Rose and Thorn feel a draw towards the bottom half. Mm -hmm. Right. Um... What's ever I'm thinking? If we're if we want to explore first instead of fight first, we can go up. Yeah. Um, Maybe we should go up left yeah, okay. first. Try that and then make our way down. Yeah. I'm. Uh, Alfred is going to awkwardly squeeze past uh, to me. continue his I'm role fine. as uh, as your... the frontline tank. <laughs> so you guys want to go to the left, right? Yeah, left. Right. Yes. Oh, the stairs. What? Another stairs. Okay, oh, go straight into it. It's a jail. Is Corn this jail. room bigger? Like, there's no yeah, wall Yeah, it is here. bigger. I'm waiting for you to walk in. Yeah, okay. I'm in. As right, you... Okay. Actually, Immediately jumps on the table. I'm sorry. <laughs> Immediately jumps on the table. <laughs> let, let, let the cops do this shit. <laughs> Brady, as she, jump, as she walks in the room, sees the table and excitedly jumps onto the table as what? she remembers her old... Memories in the bar doing fun little dances on the table with the rest of her people. I feel like it's a slender from the DM oh. side, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh. this is. Oh, oh that's a lot more room. Okay. Is this a maze? It's a table or something? <laughs> Why is it underground? I thought it was a jail. Yes, we can hear the monster roaring at yeah, the back. Yeah, you can, you can hear the scream. But as you walk into the room, you see a wooden table stand at the east end of the room. And to the west... I'm, why is it saying east and west? I'm in the right... Yeah, I'm in the right room. But, okay. on the At the top of the room, there's a table of four chairs. And near the bottom, there are four alcoves at the bottom alcove you can see the edge of a moldy straw pallet that appears to have been you're not sure what it is oh we work from the top down i think so um get, so we start with this one then yeah let's start with the top left passage top left passage top left where so that doesn't take us away from the area we're trying to look at. <laughs> Here, right? Yeah. yeah. I think right. it will actually because it's a passive while the others are alcoves. That's true. There oh you go. my god. Right. 
So Ooh. we'll, we'll let's, backtrack let's finish a up the bit. room first. Yes. Um, how about all Green and I look in this one? Mm. Uh, I'll take so this one. Right be on their li left. Oh, okay. So. Okay, oh. so these are like little Best. sleeping quarters. Is it a this sleeping is where... Oh yeah, it is. Well, they said some that note, that that note we found didn't it say something about torturing individuals and sacrifices? Quite. So yes, that's what can I was we do a history well. check and see if we Maybe. can remember precisely? Oh, yeah. uh, the note you... itself. Oh, we still do have we the to... note? I think I we do. I don't think we keep the notes, we keep the scrolls, but we we only read it back then. Did you not bring it with you? Is it, if it's in your inventory, then... No, it's... Uh, it's a scroll. Um, exactly. you, have the, you don't have to curse the... Letter? No. The Strahd's little... No, Strahd's letter? love letter? No. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it. The love Which, letter with okay, the someone. If you want to roll a history check to try to remember. Well, I, I think I have a minus one, one so I'm just gonna do it. Uh, I think oh, okay. I've got it because I brought it up. Alright. Oh, okay. Probably yeah. not good though because I don't have any bonus. So let's just hope for the yeah, best. Let's see, let's see. I can support. Oh, okay, you. 16. Yeah. 16. Hey. You remember that it mentions that the head household, head of the house, you're not sure you remember his name. Had originally tortured many people in hopes of summoning Mr. Strahd. I need to find his name again. Uh, okay, so, alright. That means that's and, just exactly what I said then. Yeah. And yeah. you can also remember that there is something cursed by darkness down here. I think we should be careful, guys. If what we, by what I remember is correct, there's something really deep and dark down here. And that uh, the what brought the person who wrote the letter to this land was some dark power, and that dark power is very much alive within this house. I'm getting. I'm guessing this is like Freddy Fazbear's literal home. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> periodically, because Chica still hasn't done anything, uh, intelligence save. <laughs> oh wait, are you guys still holding hands? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Never mind. No need for it. <laughs> you ain't allowed to leave, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so shall we go down that passage on the left, or should we backtrack a little bit, um, and, and head back the way we came? Uh, Is there anything else let's finish down there if we go through this, um, entire section here? Because, like, Do I see that it's... Do the left side? I just... Just it saying, saves us um, from having to backtrack from the back down here. That's later. true, but if yeah. I am a master of maps in which I totally am... Oh, um, wait! If the we're master of the, the map area is me because the I opened the, the dollhouse. Remember, I knew yeah. all of the oh. secret passage. Did it show you? The Freya knows. The but does it, did it show the basement or just oh, the house? No, that's just no. the house. I thought so. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. No, I was gonna say, I, I, if I know maths pretty well, why would we be having the 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 tortured people's beds? Here, if it was not right Would you like right to investigate to the... the... Would you like to investigate well, the beds? I was just thinking a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um, yeah I'm, I'm just wondering good. about... If the these were prisoner beds, there doesn't appear to be any restraint. And it That's is in true. the same room as what looks to be a place of entertainment with these cards and... Yes. Cups. With the marks and... That's and also, I suspect yes. This was not. Uh, this was not a prisoner. It might be um, the guards. Could yes, it be the that's, guards? That's what I'm thinking. Perhaps a staff room of thought. Okay, then in that case, it probably it doesn't lead to um, big bad room. 
Uh, I, I guess mean, then we can go. Uh, you've convinced me. Uh, yes. Yeah, we can so continue on to the left. I'm sorry. I'm mimicking the pop. I'm gonna uh, wait till I see what's here before I keep moving forwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a well? It's, this is a big underground layout. Damn. Whoa. Oh my god. Does this go like underneath the whole village? You know, Freya might go wishing. into the well, like at the <gasps> at the rim of the well, and start. I'm wishing. <laughs> I'm just doing multiple. Switch. Yeah. <laughs> you know the. Let, the me, old... let me clean. Let's clean up this real quick. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> There seems to be a lot of yummy chests here. Yeah, as you walk in, you see a four foot diameter well shaft with a three foot high stone lip that, that descends what appears to be 30 feet to a water filled cistern. A wooden bucket thirsty. hangs from a rope and pulley mechanism bolted to the cross beams across the well. And around the you can see. Sorry, just let me finish this. Yeah. Uh, Rooms that seem to serve as quarters for perhaps more senior members. More beds. There's a hierarchy down here. <laughs> yeah. uh, I looking into right. the well, does the water look off or is it just like normal, normal clear water? The water looks perfectly drinkable. I'm not to going to drink it. But that's it doesn't. It doesn't seem to be dirty. It seems to be coming out from a ground source, and it's likely to be right. perfectly clean water. Nice. And uh, likely the source like of. Hmm? Is there any possibility well, that there's something at the back at the is, bottom of? Oh. Is dim lighting. Dim lighting. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Dim light means that if you don't have dark vision, you have disadvantage on sight based perception checks. Uh -huh. uh, so, I'm going to light a torch and then hold it on. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there are, there are oil lamps around. These oil lamps are fizzling at this point. Uh, if I like take a torch and try and light one, do they light? Yeah, it will light okay, up. Okay, so the it will light up the entire room. It will light up every single one. We'll say there's yeah, four. So I'm just no going to be have going around and like I've lit a torch because it was dark and I would like to be able to see with my dumb human eyes. <laughs> uh, I've just been lighting them <laughs> along the way because while well, I didn't know it was dim light. Alfred, because he had eyeballs, uh, he would have known, so he would have been doing that. <laughs> He's just doing his daily duties of lighting up the whole. He's so like... natural <laughs> at this. He's so natural at this. Uh, take a look at some of these uh, living quarters, then. Yes. Yeah. So we can we all like check can. one of the rooms? If you like, all like to check one of the rooms. Elira and I are kind of like. Wait, yeah, we're buddies. Yeah, buddy. just, we, you guys are buddy system going on. We got a buddy system. Both of us are quite frail, so having. Technically, having a can I right see now. things with the fire from my wildfire spirit, or I'm like? Avenging her from it's a wolf. Is, is, it, is it a glowing wolf? Yes, it's a glowing wolf puppy in a fire. fire in flame. Yes, it's Mozilla Firefox, but it's wolf. Okay. Yes. Firefox somewhere. <laughs> well, as you look around these rooms, you realize that they are fairly well stocked. There's a wood framed bed with a moldy smelling straw mattress and also a wooden chest to hold personal belongings. The chests are secured oh. with a rusty iron padlock. Yeah, can, can, can I? Yeah, can I just smack can that? Yeah, can we smack yeah. that? Yeah, can we smack roll, that? Roll, roll a strength. So who's doing that? Twenty. Um, yeah, I'm going to do an axe kick on this padlock. All right. You go first. Give me, okay. give me strength. Give me strength. Yeah, uh, come on, athletics. Ten. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay, you're... it's not bad. You're using it with the back of the axe, right? No, I'm axe kicking it. Oh, axe it's kicking, axe that's from kicking. the top foot. Oh, what sort of shoes are you wearing? It's like me the plate mail shoe? Does plate mail have yeah, shoes? Yeah, I'm wearing plate armor, so it's plate. As you're I should stop rolling. coming up through the chest, you look at with the stain upon the rusty iron padlock and lift up your leg to do an axe kick. As your leg comes down, it shatters through the rusted joints of the lock and the lock breaks open. Open sesame. And within uh, your up. chest, you are currently in that room. You find a money pouch, but it looks rather grotesque. It does not Aww. look like leather. It had chocolate, um, chocolate coins in it. Now they've all That's rotted inside of it. Oh, I and must have made it. Do you I'm in... gonna... Yeah. Sorry. Do you, you want to check what's inside the pouch? Uh, you say what you were going to say first. What are you going to say first? Yeah, it's it looks is a quite grotesque looking pouch that looks like it was it looks like it does look like pieces of flesh sewn together, but you're not quite sure what flesh it's made out of, but it certainly doesn't look like glitter. And oh, it certainly doesn't look like any sort of skin you've seen used to make any sort of bag in your days working for aristocracy um well i just realized i handed my hand axe over to um over to freya a while ago i don't actually have that on me um uh, i'm not going to touch that without a blade ah uh, i do not yes. want to touch that it might be vegan uh, leather is there anything else in there is it, it just might be vegan that leather. it's it's just that it's grotesque out. looking money pouch. Or at least you assume it's a money pouch because you can see money glinting out from the tip. Remember, I'm money is money, grab, money I'm gonna grab a bit of the blanket and try and wrap up the pouch so I don't touch it and just have the blanket. You can tell Jeremy's traumatized. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, so you take the very the blanket from the... very moldy like, smelling blanket and you wrap up the... More like the pillowcase, actually. Oh. I can just... Unstuff the pillowcase. Yeah. And use as a stack. Yeah. Go for it. Yep. And then, Definitely. as you do that, uh, do you, are you looking inside the pouch once you get in? Um. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, handling the pouch through the pillowcase. I yeah. As as you carefully open up the top, mm. you find eleven gold pieces and sixty silver pieces within this grotesque pouch. I've got that in the pillowcase. No, walk over here, take a bucket, do the bucket, get a bucket of water, dump and the coins out onto the floor, and then dump the water over it. Oh, <laughs> that's very good. Hygiene is always uh, good. How much money was it? Uh, so 11 gold pieces and 60 silver pieces. Alright. And after you oh, dunk it out, you realize that uh, just roll me a perception check. Oh, no. oh yay. Uh, I'm using a different die this time. Yeah. Let's, let's do black. Hey, yeah, black is good. 19. You realize that this pouch is suddenly strangely familiar. It's made of human Aww. flesh. Yeah. Oh, it's not vegan! Um, I'm gonna just... Um, Take the entire pillowcase with the pouch inside and just fuck it back into the room where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll move on to... Yeah. We'll, do, we'll do Andy clockwise, so you do your next. Okay, so I still have the... How do you plan to axe. get the chest off? I Open. shall break the lock with the hand axe. Give me a... <laughs> yeah, give me a strength check. Is it D20? D20, yes. Okay. Red for strength. Oh, hey! Wait, give me a second. 17. Yay. Hey. And with, after Point carefully four. aiming it at the lock, you strike it right open, even breaking it off its hinges. 
I didn't kill a spider, guys. I'm so proud. <clears throat> and Yay. inside this, you find you are in room C. It contains a black leather black leather eye eye patch with a carnelian sewn into it. It seems rather expensive and rather well high quality. Are we just what a carnelian I is? don't know what a carnelian it's... is. Isn't it the type of um, flower? How it do you... It's a, a crystal. It is a rock. Yeah, it's it's uh, a per, it's a semi precious British stone. Rock. Carnelian, is it? Carnelian. Carnelian. C a r n e l i a n. Yep, yep, yep. I got it. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Friends, don't put the money pouches. I. It is very, very unpleasant. So there's only the eye patch. Yeah, of, and, but it um, seems to be a rather expensive one that you might be able to okay. get quite a bit from if you were to sell it. Don't don't I I at this at this moment uh, I, at this at this rate I'm a I'm a walking pawn shop. Let's just take it. <laughs> and it's then... not grotesque, right? <laughs> huh? It looks it's leather, leather, right? It's black leather. Yeah. It looks like leather. Very okay. well processed leather. Okay. <laughs> Freya is going to lean in and take the black eye patch and take a look at it for a moment before shoving it down to the back. Sho I thought you were about to say shoving it down the front. Like that, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> uh, no, I'm shoving it down towards the spider inside the back that I still don't know whether uh, it's still alive or not. Yeah. Roll a dex check. Is it D twenty two? Yeah, D twenty. Okay. Uh let me see my deck. Dexterity. Uh, as you drop, uh, yeah. One. As you uh, drop uh, the seven. eye patch into your bag, you Shit. you manage to like move your hands in a way that the spider it was unable to reach them, and you're able to safely put into your bag. And then, crush it at least. You know, it's still alive. Oh, and man. then, no. She Wolf and Chica. Yeah. How do you guys want to break the? So I've got my crowbar. Yeah, you right? do have a crowbar. <laughs> Yay! What do you think, She Wolf? Do I pry it open okay. or do I hit the lock with the crowbar? I think you should totally. Um, I prying wouldn't really do much because you still yeah. have the lock there. I think you just smack the fucking lock. It's rough. Yeah. So... Smack the lock. Okay, you smacked the lock. Give me a strength check. Yippee. Oh, I see. Oh. Dwarf advantage. <laughs> oh, Dwarf no. advantage because you have a friend near you. You have, you have cool. You have moral well. support. I have moral support. How do you roll for advantage? Just yeah. you just, just roll, roll it again. The second time, take okay. higher. There you go. Yay! Yeah, and then minus one modifier. Eighteen and 18. pulling out your crowbar, you. have you feel all of Vaughn's fear disappear and you share a s similar excitement. And <laughs> she will. a little maniac. <laughs> she will feel a similar giddiness watching Augury go through this action. And when okay, the. <laughs> as the crowbar strikes down and the. And the lock is whack clean up its hinges. You both share a small moment of celebration. Woo! <laughs> and inside you find a silvered short sword. It's I says silvered, not silver. Oh, silver. okay. So, so like it's just a silver coated. So silvered, what that means is it's a weapon that's undergone a uh, a certain treatment that oh, basically. Oh, it's coated. It makes the edges, um, coat, it coats the edges in silver, and it just allows it to bypass certain resistances to um, not uh, damage. Oh. It's not so immune to normal weapons, but like silvered weapons will bypass it. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'm so. not going to judge you for taking it. It's aristocrats' <laughs> house. I, seeing what the living quarters in, are in down here, I don't think they pay their employees. 
Ogre smiles at Elira and picks probably up. put it up a pocket. <laughs> In the he just like picks up the short sword, stuff in the pocket, yeah. it's gone. Yeah, it just it just slides into a pouch. <laughs> well, as you pick it up, you you can tell that it's a well-made short sword and very well looked after. And it's even got some fancy markings on it. And Ooh, there are I... two more rooms. Three faces. Two. Yeah. Two yeah. more rooms and one more passage. Yeah. 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 Here and. So. Uh, yeah. Do we want to do quest? Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll check it out. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. it's more okay. So who's going where? Oh, That's all God. I need oh, to know. Oh, oh. I'll go uh, up. I think I'm gonna go Aldrin here. Green and I are going down here. Yep. As <laughs> that, as you guys that, walk that. over to that passageway, you guys are both oh. feel a pull back within your minds and both the children are like, no. Let's wait for the oh. others. Don't go down there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, you don't have to tell us oh, twice. <laughs> oh, okay, no. uh, I just need you, Zu, and Jeremy to roll me strength saves. Oh, uh, strength. Oh. Strength, strength check. Rolls, yeah. This is bad. This year, Seven. This wouldn't die. Seven. 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 How do you, Seven. How do you try and hit it? Try to hit what? Hit the chest. Well, the chest. Oh, oh, there's another chest. Oh, <laughs> hmm. right. Can I ask my wildfire spirit to bite onto it? <laughs> oh, actually, your wildfire spirit does have a fire attack, so maybe oh. you can break the lock like that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Get um. the get the thing to roll uh, attack. Uh, your uh, the attack with the with your little Wait, pet uh -huh, is going to be uh -huh. using your wisdom modifier. It's going to be yeah. wisdom plus proficiency, and that's how uh, that's to hit. And in the stat block, it says one d six plus pb. Pb stands for proficiency bonus. So, so it, what is your wisdom? Uh, it should be my wisdom stat yeah. is. Give me a second. I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. Yeah, three plus three, two. So yeah. that, what you roll? You that's rolled an eight, so that's eleven. Wait, no, I haven't. I haven't rolled. I haven't rolled no. yet. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, it's worse. Jesus. <laughs> so that is a seven. That hits. Uh, roll damage. Uh, not yeah. seven. It will be a nine because nine. you add proficiency uh, as well. So it's plus five. That altogether. hits. Roll damage. Oh. That measures one d six plus two because your proficiency is two. Okay. That Thanks. you as your elemental wolf bites the lock, it absolutely melts into a puddle of melted metal on the floor. Nice. You can hear the sizzle as it hits the moist ground. And within this chest, you find. An ivory hairbrush with silver bristles that looks very expensive. I want that for myself. I'm not gonna even sell it. <laughs> silver bristles. That's kind of how hard is that to maintain? Yeah, I know. And Jeremy. Yep, I'm gonna. So this time I'm going to, and just hit it with the rim of my shield. All right, Roland. That's a twenty-one. You also knock it right off its hinges. I am getting sick of narrating breaking open chess. Yeah, open sesame. <laughs> open sesame. Yeah. Inside the chest, you find three moss agate. Uh, agates? Agates? Oh, agates. 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 Um, agates. It's a yeah, it's sort of rock. Yeah. yeah. And your, with your former knowledge of aristocratic services you know that these are about 10 gold each uh how many are there good three, three. all right and you can also find uh next to them is a folded piece of black cloth okay. it seems to be like a if you as the, so you pick up it's a silk it feels very silky as you pick it up and seems to be Aww. quite good quality material okay no kitchen. Good job, Shiro. Oh. 
Okay. How big is it? Is it like a handkerchief? I thought you were raising me. It's like a... <laughs> like... One... Uh... It's about... 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Oh, okay, it's so it's quite large. Pretty decently sized. Okay. Uh, I'll keep that. Cool. Okay, you want to continue oh, on? In space. Uh, yes. Shall we go this way or should we backtrack? And, um, um, just letting letting the situation stay open because there is a path top right. I yeah. don't know if this path here that we're on right now is going to match up with the path, the bottom path. So okay. I thought I'd just offer. Yeah, considering that both the ghosts inside your bodies are kind of telling you guys no. Oh no, they're saying it's, it's fine like, now. If you're all, yeah. all together, it's fine. Yeah, as long as we're here together. Oh, so it's only we because we feel so guys... safe with you guys. Oh. Don't make <laughs> me want to touch your tail again. No! Sexual harassment. <laughs> like feel... It's not a huge so once, once the campaign starts, I'm going to set up a couple side scenarios and occasionally I'm probably if we have people in chat I'm gonna make a poll yeah, and people can oh, vote for yeah. which event and then you guys can have fun with that stick around oh, for that, that guys be it's gonna be so fun yeah I'm so looking forward uh, to that as well I take point so. to go forwards advance yeah, go forward sure yes sorry right. I didn't mean to grab cool. you I was really trying to move the screen oh no you're grabbing him without consent Arrest I feel me. like I was just grasped by a ghostly bee <laughs> I was just pulled back. I'm just gonna follow and from you behind. You also notice a oh, second so It's a this huge place is so big. Place. Yeah. We're supposed to get oh through this in yeah, 20 I'm minutes. Gotta so. take a, I've gotta take a look. You gotta keep this going, friends. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna also take a look down this hallway before I decide which one I wanna go down. Yeah. You... Yeah, I'm gonna eye everyone from behind. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's another what? one here. And here! That oh my definitely God. goes to a, a room yes. that connects to that opposite place. Just how? Yeah, yeah this is. Oh. Oh, you can do see. Do you guys want to do that right now? No. Do you want us to spread or do you want us to all go Hopefully together? Hopefully, don't spread out. Let's go no, together. No, definitely. Well, the stay moment together. the thought crosses your yes. mind, you hear the children chanting no. <laughs> No! Okay. Look, you scared okay. the children, Maya. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just asking. Kids. I think I'm we fine. go into that space that you can see there, Alfred. I think that might be good to, to finish up yeah. our routing of the place to try and figure out where we are. Hmm. I'm I'm not gonna immediately run in because that cost me last time with the As room. you guys <laughs> begin to as you guys pass by there, you begin to Realize that the source of sounds is coming from over here. Okay, oh, there's the big that's god. Where, that's where all the chanting is coming from. I feel much more comfortable taking this route. Oh my god, we are actually okay, get this getting room, closer. Get yep. <laughs> oh. Area, oh, dining area, huh? Fancy. And this is. Oh. As I assume this connects back up with the top part. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this <laughs> can just be I'm just gonna jump on top of the up. table and do a perception check, just because. Why not? <laughs> just want to see everything clearly. <laughs> yeah. I get my. I so, get my wolf. Yeah. Bye. As you guys enter this room, you notice that there's a plain wooden table flanked by long benches, and, and I'm already moldy on top of humanoid bones are strewn on the dirt floor. What appears to be remains of a vile banquet of whatever oh. was happening down here. Oh. A shiver it runs down she Augury's back as she enters this room, but nothing beyond that. Okay, oh perception oh check, oh please. Child. Uh, Let me just do the perception check while dancing here. Can you confirm if this connects back? If this over here connects back? Yeah, it does. So oh, there's yeah, no other all, passages. All right, you guys can see. You guys can see. There you uh, go. Okay, so there are oh other passages. Oh my god, there. there's so many yeah. more passages. Welcome oh to the maze. 
<laughs> Welcome perception to the rice field. Time. Okay, I'm gonna do perception <laughs> rice field. while it's a while corn doing way. the timber. Oh wait, no, that's no. not me. Oh my god, fifteen. Okay, fifteen for the perception. Yes. So, <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Well, I usually just did, did a perception check. Oh, yeah. in the perception check, what did you roll? Fifteen. Fifteen. So yeah. you notice that while this primary area seems pretty well lit, this area is a little bit dark. You can't really make out what's happening over there. So like unnaturally dark? Like it's lighting just... wise, does it make sense that that bit is dark? Like the light, yeah, all the light sources in the room perfectly frame out that area and it's very hard to see clearly what's happening in that single area. Mm. Can I just get everyone's passive perception scores? Mine's a 14. Passive yeah. perception? 11. Um, 11. Does the, does the spirit at that position light up that corner? The spirit? As the spirit gets closer? Uh... Oh, 15. What's the range of the spirit? Um, I don't think... I don't think it actually has a, um... Is it a light source? I don't think it actually has a lighting range. We'll say it's 5 feet. Then. 5 feet, Just yeah. like, a, yeah, like no. 5 feet around... Yuzu. Should I tell She Wolf to no, not She Wolf, but She Wolf, but She Wolf the puppy to <laughs> go there <laughs> and be the temporary light. I also what yeah. Do you want, well, you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you uh, well, my torch has a ten foot range. I think. Wait, it's how? It's fifteen. How big is the torch? It's, it's fifteen. Okay. It seems. Oh, wait, to, no. As you walk closer, it doesn't like. Are you right there? I have a torch and I'm fairly close to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, just asking, are you, can you, can you pick a tile? Radius. Oh, and yeah. Like, can you be in a tile? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll just like... Oh yeah, this what? is a... Torch is light up 20 feet. So yeah, what I'm was your perception sure. again? 14, passive perception. You, Mine is 15. The, as you walk within mm. the distance of the wall, you see a brick. Wait, I need to go find their little... I'm guessing the brick is standing out a little bit. A brick. Ooh. It's a... Oh, oh a brick! Monster. Oh! And... Oh, that thing! Uh, what is this? Th what is this creature? Oh. I believe oh. it's a monstrosity. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no! It, it, you, please you, tell you, me you, it's a friend. Perception. The moment you walk closer, you, re you see... Something within the wall for a goal and then oh. out of the out, right out of the wall comes a snake like creature with a bird's beak octopus tentacle four octopus tentacles surrounding its mouth it dives straight for alfred aiming for his oh. aiming straight for the juggler but alfred noticed it already but uh, you don't even need ac because you noticed it, so he doesn't right. get a surprise attack. And you bring up the shield and then you lock it and then bash it away. And we roll initiative now. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> this is not the battle we were thinking we were How coming into today. How do we roll initiative hey. again? Hey, at least we get to use the fancy new initiative tracker. Yeah, yeah the fancy new <laughs> abilities of oh, being true. level 2. Does the <laughs> does a little creature have attack? Uh, um the, yes. Oh the, the little spirit. Yeah, I it think has a range attack. No, no, no. Does it does it have an tracker. does it need to roll initiative? Is it a separate creature altogether? I see. It is. It, I believe it takes its turn it immediately is. after you. So okay. Yeah, it ha it takes immediately after me. Yeah. Okay. It so. Their initiative. Okay, so. Let's go left to right for initiative. Okay. Yeah. Just. I'll need you all to roll the um, dice and I'll put you in an order. Yeah. Okay. Right. 
So when I said left to right, I meant um, us on Digger first. the stream. No, yeah. the stream. Left to right, so oh. that's Jeremy first. Oh, on the stream, okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Um, that will be a nine. Oh. A nine? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, let me. Red, please give me something good. Nice. Oh, me. 16. 16. 16 plus your dex? Oh, my. Wait, where's my dex? A one, 17. 17. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, 5 plus my dex. 6. Yay. 6. Yay. Um, and I've got. Oh, 4. Oh. <laughs> was not into it this time. <laughs> Watching the butterflies. <laughs> you got 4. And then the beast is right after. Yeah. Oh, no. Alright, and then the beast has got a... Okay. Oh, right. oh no! We need an icon for Mr. Mr. Grick. Grick? What's that icon? Monstrosity. He's a monstrosity. What's the icon for monstrosity? I mean, also, monstrosity, monstrosity looks like a wolf, so maybe we can like maybe that? we can use that for the spirit next time. Yeah, and then move the yeah, yeah. if it's a if it's a wolf Yeah. And this guy uh, got a. You want to swap them over? Twelve. I think it's five for oh. now. You got twelve. Yuzu, you can go first. Oh dear God! You actually um, have a weapon this time. Yes. Well, true. But don't I have to do it melee for the cantrip to take uh, place? Oh dear. You God. also have you also have infestation, which is rain. Yeah. Um, but you're closer to the monster, so wouldn't it be bad. Yeah, you can still target it. Um, because it's not closest and it's not closest creature. It's it's a target that you use okay. within range. Because I remember infestation also kind of affects the ally nearby the area. Oh, the no, so uh, that's acid splash. Acid splash can um, and that, can and target also In that case, I'll do the infestation then. Okay, so you have a casting range of 30 feet, instantaneous. And it e does. Wait, so infestation is a cantrip, so I don't need to prepare it, right? No. Do I have the druid yeah. focus ready. Um, so Freya reach out for the Druid Focus, which is the handbell that is usually used to summon butlers, I'm sorry. Um, but I love it. And starts ringing it um, to summon, summon? In the infestation. You so summon, it's um, do you have a... a little bit instinctively from the bell noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he perks up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, just not sure what I need to roll above. D20. Yeah, uh, you, oh, you uh, to roll above, that's based on Yuzu's. Um, so you need to roll above 8 plus her wisdom modifier plus proficiency. So what? So that's going to be a 13, right? 13. Alright, that is a just a failure. So Alright. So you get to roll damage. So. The. D4? D6. D6. Or D6. Yeah. D6. Six. Oh, wow, oh, she's a lot of shit. Okay. that? It has that much. As your swarm of, but do you have a bug in mind? Fleas, gnats, crickets, roaches. Ro I hate as, them. I will. I will use them to kill our people. As yes. a swarm of roaches flies towards this Greg, it begins mm -hmm. to riff as a bite. It's Ew. bite at its skin, bite at the tentacles along its mouth. Oh, and it seems to be screeching in pain. Freya winces in pain and disgust. But yeah, take and that. then Um yeah. the wildfire. The wildfire spirit. Yeah. How do I um uh, using a bonus this? acting you can command it to do something in its stat block? Uh, so for instance in its stat block you see under actions, do you have the page open? Yes, I have the page okay. open. So if you take a look at this, under actions, it has two abilities. It has flame, flame scene, or it has mm -hmm. fiery teleportation. Uh -huh. You can either get it to a bit of fire, 
or mm-hmm. you get it to teleport itself and everything that wants to around it uh, mm-hmm. up to 15 feet and that forces dexterity saves around where they left otherwise if they fail they take damage oh okay no i think i'm gonna do the flame seed for now because it yeah, can okay. hit range to 60 feet so i just hit 1d8 uh, so you roll your attack roll, which is going to be 1d20 plus proficiency plus wisdom. 1d20 plus proficiency plus wisdom. So... It's a 10. Oh, sorry. Probably. So, yeah, 10. Sorry. It's 10. 10. That's a 10 hit, uh-huh. Josh. That was that was a 14, wasn't it? No, no, no. no that, it that was, was an accident. I... Oh, yeah, it was accident. 10 does not hit. No, and my puppy! So, as you... As Lil She Wolf dives at the Grick, the Grick nimbly slides to his side despite the many roaches that are plaguing it. It's like the roaches stay on, right? Uh, the roaches? No. So they at- they attack once. They can still stay on, but they won't do anything even if they do. They just like, they basically become the bugs that, you know, nimbles probably. Uh, uh, the attack that the thing does is rain. It's not melee, so you it's don't rain, need to get yeah. to it. Yeah. It's rain, yeah. Okay. It's range. Yeah. Alright, uh, Monstrosity's turn, Josh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, oh my... Why does everything here have this ability? <laughs> 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 everything has this one ability. Uh... And it... Oh. The... Wait, the, so the, the wolf is like... It's dead. just... It's like, dead now. Put him there. No, it's not, it's not a no. melee attack, Josh. It's oh, a it's range it's attack. Not, oh, it's a range attack. The Get elemental the throws thing. out a ball of fire and the Greg nimbly dodges it. And it just goes straight for Jeremy. And oh no! We'll see if it hits. Anti okay. AC, come on, don't fail me again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 that twenty. No. Nineteen. It it hits once. Uh, and it uses. Is it different between like, I do It's what's the difference between piercing and de- slashing? Uh, some things resist piercing, while other things resist slashing. Uh, I don't <laughs> resist either, so it doesn't matter. I I am a <laughs> I am a human. I am flesh and blood. <laughs> Blades hurt. <laughs> Animals hurt. Everything Point hurts. I'm squishy. Hurt. Help. <laughs> so this is... How much do I take? You take a total of 11 damage. Ah, ah. Oh! Everything, everything just knocks me down that's, by 50%. That's from one... Oh, that's that's that just one hit. Alright, uh, my turn. Um... Oh ow. no. Oh uh, god. I'm going to first I'm gonna use second wind to restore some <laughs> HP. <laughs> uh, Should I describe be... how it attacked you? Yeah, sure. It Ow. dives at you and as you try to block it, it bites onto your shield and does a little flip. Wrapping its tail around the base of your neck before it attacks your face with its tentacles. Tearing oh. at your flesh. So I'm sorry, you. I've got to say it. Can't Excuse me, what? Oh my Yeah, gosh. I was about to say that too. I was about this to say is that a life-threatening was, situation, oh. guys. You so choke in the back, them, just like, and then you attack them with the tentacles. Yeah, I'm sorry. I This is internet's fault. I'm too innocent. It is the internet's fault. Wait, one anyway, second. continue. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, first, I'm going to build myself a second wind. Alfred is going to push it off first and then take a deep breath and restore that's a 9 plus 2, so 11, I'm back to full. Um, restore some HP and then he's going to start punching. Uh, All so right. that's going to be roll. Early attack. That's a 17 to hit. That hits. Or. Well, that's. Of seven damage. Seven damage. That is. And then I'm going to action surge to hit again. Seven, seven damage once. 
All right. Action surge. That's another seventeen to hit. <laughs> I can't that believe hits. I can check my auto mod. <laughs> and then that's another seven damage. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. All right. You, do you want to push describe? It, pushing you, the okay. I'll yeah. let you describe it. Pushing the Grick off with the shield. Alfred then goes for a right hook, and then follow that up into a straightforward kick. Whoa. The Grick okay. goes flying. Okay and whacks straight into a wall and is looking quite injured. It's going down. I'm going to mark. That means that you may go now. I may go now. Is she goes no, down. No, it's your turn. So <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it's I your turn. Can I cast Acid Splash? So that's a oh. deck. Yeah, uh, let me switch up Acid Splash again. It's a deck save, and then they take 1d6, I believe, from failure. Yep. So, uh, what is the... what's the save? He's in range. It's a, a dex. Yeah, I, I know, dex. but like, what's... what do I need to roll above? The save DC? Um, yeah. Cut. It's going uh, to be your charisma modifier plus proficiency plus oh. 2. Uh, not uh, plus 2, plus 8. She upgraded uh, her stuff, so I can't check anymore. Uh... 3 oh, plus... Wait. so charisma plus... <laughs> Proficiency plus eight. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to read. I have to read. I have to use my eyes. Three. I have to use my brain. I just Three. did a math Five. test today. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Proficient proficiency plus charisma plus eight. Eight. Yep. Thirteen. Thirteen. What did I just roll? Um. Uh, it's going to be I rolled a nine. You rolled a nine. Four. Oh, we can, we can just fight. One. Um, that's only ten. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh... I guess. Wait, no, you're not rolling. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I roll it. Despite... Oh, okay. ...being knocked yeah. right into a wall and painfully injured, is able to see the ball of acid flying straight towards it and... manages to do a... Does it forms into a spring and bounces over it, like a cartoon? Because I can do that now. Point. <laughs> point, point. And then we have. Yeah. All right. Lyra, she off. <laughs> cool. All right. Um. Uh, <laughs> definitely <laughs> low. Uh, <laughs> So let's do. Um, I guess. Uh, oh, Elira, let's go of. Um, first of all, Elira, let's go of August's <laughs> little hand. Um, sorry, girly, I've got a, I've got a D attach here. <laughs> uh, and jumps up onto the table, leaps <laughs> over. Alfred if to... you stand on either of these corners, you are within melee range of of them. It's fifteen. All right. Like if you stand at either of these corners, you would still be within melee range. It's not as cool if I don't leap over you. <laughs> you, you can you can leap over. Fair enough. Please make the last oh. successful. Remember yes, last time someone tried to do mm. something cool? Well, I guess so. I did that last time to the room and I got shit on by a shelf. All right. Okay. Roll, maybe, maybe, roll uh, me your yeah, just, attack just rolls first, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, um, <laughs> let's just roll full fucking d20. 17, that do hits. I need to add dex? That hits, regardless. Okay, cool. Alright, so mm -hmm. yeah, I, I leap over Alfred and perform a flying kick to the motherfucker. Roll damage. Uh, yeah, oh. totally, remember what d damage is. It's 6, isn't it? D6, D6 yes. yeah. I believe, yeah. for the plus sword. Dex. Yeah. Uh, for your first attack, it's plus dex. Oh! That one. That's still four damage. That's still oh. damage. Yeah. yeah. And you still get your offhand attack as well. So, how much. Yeah. What's your dex? Is it plus two or five? Plus three. 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 So, that's four damage. Yeah. So, four damage. Um, and then I get my second go right because I got my, my hand. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now I've got to roll another d20. Uh, and I get a 9. Uh, 
11, no, 12, I'm bad at math, 12. <laughs> The yeah, second attack misses. Two because you also have proficiency. Um, How do you attack? What's your second attack look like? It's 14. It's 14. Does that hit? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. So my second attack does hit. Um, and what I do there is I, I bring out my sword and I slash the motherfucker across the chest. <laughs> and we'll roll damage and watch it do another one. <laughs> Wow. Just saying I called it. Mind you, though. <laughs> you don't add dex to that one. Is that so just one damage? That no, that's oh. just the one damage. And then uh, Elira just leaps back. The Grick after dodging the... Are you going to the... leave its melee ring? No, uh, I will go up yeah. here. Okay. The, the Grick lo was... Qu after landing, it was quite proud of, looked quite proud of itself after avoiding the acid splash, but... In its moment of self-importance, it fails to see the flying kick of an angry tabaxi Ooh. and gets knocked clean off the floor before it is slashed. The slash is very shallow though, and it manages to land safely with a trickle of... I believe these things bleed. Trickle of blood trailing down Trading from a small cut within its along its belly. And Chica, please Chica roll die. a intelligence don't safe. You, don't you do it. Just because I oh, let no, him go ahead. No, no, I, I, no. Give me a minute. I've got to get back into other. <laughs> This is bad. I have a bad feeling every time you ask someone to do this yeah, role. Yeah, you should. Sometimes it's <laughs> enough. I don't like this. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like this. to pick them up because my intelligence is minus one. Sometimes. Like my this. strength my strength is minus one, so... I feel yeah. like Alfred with these children inside him will just be like, Ah oh, yes, wherever you want to go, young master, young mistress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Where would you I, be? Shall, I shall be your I'm gun probably gun. the head waitress at this point. <laughs> Ready? I'm the matron. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Then do I, oh. I don't get anything? You any modified? move. No, you feel the slight bit of fear and you feel the need to be close to Elira. So you dash forward, but as you're dashing forward, you manage to stop yourself and regain control. Oh, and restrain no. Fawn from overtaking you. And then it's back to He's Freya. Control and self -control. Hello, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Intelligence is I just will... like the whole self-control thing. Yes. Um, usually, usually that's wisdom for like fear, but yeah. intelligence works. It's either okay, one so... works. If yeah. you guys have a higher yeah. staff of wisdom, maybe we're wisdom from now on. But... Really awesome. Yeah. It, like it, it doesn't matter. It's up to you, like which stat it targets. Um, like Why there are some. Worry? Yeah, I'll give you the choice using things, wisdom yeah. or intelligence. No cuddling and okay. fear. No lance. No, there's no cuddling and fear. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone <laughs> is <laughs> terrified. <Sorry. laughs> Everyone is terrified. Clingy. Yeah. <laughs> Clingy! <laughs> Just a little bit. That's 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 the sum but that's the yeah, entire uh, summary of back, this entire use it back to you. Yeah, How do so you Freya want to prepare. attack this weird snake yes. tentacle thing? Freya prepares her shield, um her wooden shield, and also prepares the um the cantrip. She activates the cantrip on the uh shillele, sorry. On the you mace. Shillele on the mace, and then you go in Ooh. for a melee attack? Yes, I'm gonna go in here. Uh, do you want do you want your pet yeah. to come with you? Uh, yeah. Your pet doesn't your pet doesn't act yet, so you'll have so to. So yeah, no worry. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna let her let her there be there, and I'm just gonna be here. Okay. How do you uh -huh, and choose to attack? I kind of try to beat it. <laughs> Within the range that was being covered by the armor shield, because I'm squishy, you know how it is. So, yeah, roll behind a d20. the shield. Roll d20. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, not twenty. Not 20. You get Great. crit. You get crit damage. Yes. 
Now, okay, if you so... don't kill it within this turn, I will be shocked. So you roll so two don't, eight don't, and a plus your wisdom. Don't, don't steal my gacha luck yet. Um, is it D6? D2? 2D8. Oh, D8. 2D8? Yeah. yeah. Is it okay? Okay. Seven. That's a seven plus three from your wisdom, so that's ten damage. Not bad. As you mm. strike it with your shillelagh, it... you knock it right up into the air and it flails around the air like a fish out of water before... Hey. Slapping onto the ground like a wet noodle. <laughs> noodle. A wet noodle. Is it still alive? And considering it's doing a comical tongue out of the mouth as it lays on the floor, yeah. drool pulling on the floor, is safe to say it's dead. 